Hi, this is how to do basic light rays entirely within Adobe After Effects. I'm using CS6. Creating light rays is a very useful thing to know because they can be used in many different ways in your compositing. I'll give you a couple of examples. Here we have a, a bedroom scene and a blast of, I don't know, either nuclear energy or a nuclear bomb or heavenly light, but either way it's, it's not really looking good. Okay, here's, here's something else. We have a soldier in some kind of uh, industrial basement sort of thing when we can wrap some light around him. Okay, let's get started. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to hit Command N for a new comp. And then Command Y for a new solid. Let's call this Light Ray. And we're going to set it to 1920 by 1080. Color will be white. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit S and I'm going to scale this up to 500. Now the reason why I do that is that sometimes when you have the beam flying off to the side, it's going to stop at that layer. So if I have a very big layer, I can prevent that from getting cut off. Now, if anyone out there has a, a different way of addressing that problem, please let me know because I'm, I love to learn new stuff. We'll be using masks to create the shape of our light sources. So I'm going to create just a small circular light here. So we'll go over to mask options and choose the ellipse tool. And I'm going to hold down shift, drag it out. And I'm going to hit Command, creating a nice circle. Now the secret of all this is an effect called Radio Fast Blur. So we'll just type that into Effects and Presets. Drag that on top. And bump that up a little bit. We'll set this to Brightest. And there you go. Already we have something that's kind of useful. If we copy this, drag that over to the corner, and we have sort of uh, a sun coming through the clouds or a moon or something like that. Okay, let's go back to our comp. I'll show you how you can manipulate this light. We'll go over to center, and if we move the second parameter, it's going to move in the X axis and this parameter will move it in the Y. Now you'll notice this little red thingy down here. That's called our center. And if we click on that, we'll get some crosshairs and we can move that wherever we want. So if we move that further away, you notice that the beam is going to get narrower. And if we move it up closer, it's going to be wider. Now if we want a narrow beam, we can hit MM to open up our mask options and move the mask expansion into the negative and that will give us a very narrow beam. Conversely we can open it up, make it really big for a big star or planet, whatever. Alright, very easy to change color because we're just changing the color of our layer. So let's go into solid settings and we'll change the color to more of a gold color. Another thing you can do is a cool free plugin from Video Copilot and it's called Color Vibrance. And this will give a lot more character to your light beam. We'll just drag that on top and open up the color. And you'll notice all the cool shades of color that you get out of this. Okay, let's delete that for now. I'll show you a nice trick for giving a little bit more detail and texture in your light beam because it's a pretty plain single color right now. So I'm just going to click on my layer, hit Option D to duplicate it. We're going to go into Layer, Solid Settings, and let's change this to a little bit more 
of a whitish color. Click OK. Now let's go into Mask Options, MM, and reduce the size. And that will give you a little bit more detail in your, in your beam. So that's it for now. Please leave any questions or comments down below. And you can subscribe here. And we'll see you for part two, which is how to composite the light rays within a scene. Have a great day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.